<laughs> We're so low. That's this what I mean. Table is so high. Or is the bench higher? Just Centimeter sit two. your sit your tallest. Okay, everybody, this is a janky setup. Nay, it's a haunted setup. Are these people really shrinking? <laughs> We're matching. Cute. Welcome back to Foster the Meeple, a channel all about war games and eating food. Exactly. Back by popular demand, we are bringing back our Halloween themed board game night or board game night videos. You're like, what does that mean? Doesn't look like you're set up to play board games. Nope. We are not. We are going to tell you how to host the perfect Halloween board game night. That's going to include food, drinks, game suggestions and movie suggestions. I'm here for the food. Jeff is here for the food. A few things I'd like to say. Yes, we are filming in our dining room. Thank you for noticing. That means that we're filming in a much jankier setup, but our studio's in the basement and I didn't want to have to go all the way, like imagine me carrying all the food. Yeah, this is the, the first time we've done this in the new house. Yeah. So, so it's I've, been over a year since we've done it and the kitchen's right there. The kitchen is literally right there. So, so it makes so, log lo logistical sense. Yes, and so I'm sorry if, number one, you can see the microphone, I know you can. Number two, our chairs are too short for this table. We need to buy new chairs for this table. Number three, we're probably crooked. That's not anything you're not used to, to be honest. We out here. So let's dive into it. By the way, happy Octobu, okay? Because it's another Octobu video. My first suggestion for your Halloween game night is force everyone to wear the same shirt. Now that's what Jeff and I have done. We got these at Disney. It's Donald Duck as the devil? Yeah. Or vampire? I don't know, but he's creepy and I like vampire. it. Vampire. Vampire Duck. But no, he has horns. Yeah, I think he might be the devil. I don't really know. Now, I'm going to go get our appetizer. Okay, Jeff? I, you hold, told me. Hold 10. You hang told 10. me the things and I don't remember. Okay. I remember the, the, the main course, but that's it. I don't remember the other parts. Don't drink it. Don't, don't do it. Yeah, don't, okay? Don't do it. Is that a worm? Yeah. Can I eat the worm? No. Ooh, Friends. right. Ooh, ah. I want, they can see it. Da, 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 da. All right, so the first food, our appetizer, our starter is zombie goo. It's spinach dip. And what are you gonna eat your zombie goo with? What would you eat with in the apocalypse? Old stale crackers and pretzels from a couple months ago. Is that actually what those are? <laughs> Ew. Well, the pretzels, but the crackers are actually Are the new. pretzels actually old? No, well, they're still fresh enough so this is a great like it's thematic this is spinach dip spinach dip is green just like zombie goo when you uh oh so you, you get to go when you brain a zombie this is what it looks like when you brain a zombie no mm. Mm. That's good dip. Mm. first of all spinach dip is amazing psa sorry for all the mouth sounds we're gonna make in this video yeah you should probably throw that up at the beginning we're eating. People are always like, mm. people are always like, oh, the eating sounds. I'm like, well, we're eating. <laughs> we make sounds when we eat. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, so this is what you're going to serve your guests to start. Delicious, yes? Yeah. Nice little warm up. We're serving it cold, but you could serve it warm. Now the drink, I call worm juice which is basically what people turn into when they die. Now, this is Lime Ricky. She is. Lime Ricky? Yeah, that's what it said on the bottle. Lime Ricky soda with 7-Up and lemonade and gummy worms. It's very limey. It's very limey. All you need is some kind of a lime pop or just diet cream. I don't care what you do. And add in some worms because of theme. You're probably like, what game should we play? What I've done is I'm gonna give you two options. Something that's a little bit of a lighter fare mm. and something that's a little bit more of a heavier fare, okay? Hit me. So, the games that you're going to start with are either going to be Oh My Brain mm. from 25th Century. Now, I yep. picked this one. Uh, obviously, we're talking about zombie goo, zombies. 
Oh My Brain is a zombie themed board game. Now in Oh My Brain, you are basically trying to be the last person left with brain tokens. So many mouth sounds, it's ridiculous. Zombies don't make, actually zombies do make a lot of mouth sounds. They're like, ooh, I'm dead, I'm a zombie. A British one. Okay, so basically you're trying to be the last person left with brains and you're rolling dice and you're playing out cards in order to get rid of your cards quickest. Yeah. Right? So you want to get rid of your hand of cards so you don't lose brains and there's different things that are going to make you lose brains throughout the game. It is so much fun. We played this uh, during a game day. Jeff and I have played it numerous times together, just at two players, and it's a great time. Now, if you're looking for something a little bit heavier and zombie themed, I will recommend Dead of Winter, A As Long Night. Interesting. How about that? Well, you know, you could go zombicide. You could do other things. But Dead of Winter is a good cooperative game with like a possibility of a hidden traitor. So why not start off the game mad at each other, not being able to trust each other? And it's definitely a zombie theme, for sure. That's true. And it uses a crossroads system, which we love. Yeah. So basically you are trying to survive the zombie apocalypse. Now there is a possibility that there are traitors or a traitor among you, but there's also a possibility that there's not. So true. it leaves you second guessing. And I like that. We haven't played that in a hot minute. We have not played that in a hot minute. We need to play it again. Now, I also like to recommend recommend a movie because you're going to want something on in the background. Yep. So for the movie, for this pairing, we're going to be picking Zombieland. Interesting. Zombieland is a super... Have you seen Zombieland? Uh, no, I don't think really? I have. No. Pick that over like Shaun of the Dead. Well, I don't love Shaun of the Dead. I'm not Max. So Zombieland has Woody Harrelson, it has Emma Stone, it has the guy from The Social Network who looks like Michael Sarah but isn't Michael Sarah. Mm. And basically they are living through a zombie apocalypse and it's, it's like a fun, non-scary zombie movie. Like I'm sure there's going to be a couple moments that are like, Ugh. Yeah, I but think I think it's a fun it. one to put on the background while you're having a game day. It's a good one to ease into. Yeah, exactly. So there's our first pairing. Zombie goo, a.k.a. spinach dip, with stale stuff to eat it. Worm juice. It wasn't, they weren't stale. No, they are old, though. They weren't stale at all, Because I, I use a bag clip. Okay. I'm going to try these worms, though. Zombie land for your movie, and either Oh My Brains or Dead of Winter for your game. Okay, don't eat this yet. <laughs> I need to show the camera if I can. What's this? Can you see? It has a face. Oh! Yeah, this has a face too. Yeah, I see it. That smells good. Next up, main course. Hi. Okay, who That's doesn't scary. love a main course? So, what we're going with is. Buffalo chicken stuffed peppers. So we're adding a little bit of spice to our life. I, I have dubbed these spicy jack-o'-lanterns. Um, you have so, a knife. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use yours. I carved a face in it, and then inside it has, go ahead, it has buffalo chicken, cream cheese, some different like seasoning. Uh, it, I can give you some ranch if you'd like to dip it in ranch. It says you can do that too. Mm. I'm not a big, you this can, is gonna cause a lot of problems. I'm not a big ranch guy. Jeff doesn't love ranch. It's fine. But you carve your pepper up like Jeff's literally going right for the face. Yeah? I mean, you can't go wrong with cream cheese. And then I melted some cheese on top. Too spicy. It's not. I'm getting ranch. I want to try it with ranch. Abby! Tell me you would like my pretzels. Doesn't surprise me. While Jeff is still munching, let's talk about the drink. I call this drink Blood Moon. It's cream soda and 7-Up. I freaking love cream soda. You can have any kind of drink so long as you give it a fun name. Cream soda is it. a top tier drink. Oh, I 100% agree with that. This is our dinner, by the way. Now, for the game options, if we are going with a lighter fare, we'll go with Castle Party. Mm. Castle Party, very jack-o'-lantern themed, if you didn't know, is yeah. a roll and write or flip and write game, basically, where you have different monsters that are coming to a party 
At your castle. A monster mash, some might say, at a castle. And so there are witches and there are zombies and there are ghosts and there are Frankenstein monsters and they all have different shapes. And so you're flipping a card and then you're flipping a, um, a shape. And then you have to draw that monster symbols in that shape on your board and you're trying to score as many points as possible by filling up your castle there's a couple of special events that happen one being the pumpkin king comes out and you score extra points for each different type of monster around you yeah there's like one where it's fireworks so mm -hmm. your little like thing has windows on it so you'll score during the fireworks special event you'll score for monsters that are around the windows that because yep. they can watch the fireworks kind of deal Exactly. So it's definitely, it's a super light, fun Halloween it's, it's, game. It's really good. We love it's it. It's one of my favorite, uh, like, end rights. Same. I think. Yeah, I would agree. The heavier option for games that I want to recommend is going to be a full experience, and that is Blood on the Clock Tower. Oh, Max is going to be happy with that. Max is going to love it. So that one's for you, Really? Max. That's where you went? Yes, because of Blood Moon. Blood on the clock tower. What happens when the clock strikes midnight? Everybody turns into a freaking pumpkin. Possibly it's the other way around. No, it's not. Everybody turns into a pumpkin. That's Cinderella. That's just science. So anyways, Blood on the clock tower is a hidden traitor game. Is that it social deduction? It's a social deduction game. Well, technically there is a traitor among you. Social deduction where one or many people are playing against the group, but one person in particular is playing as, it's not the devil, who is it? Um, demon, I think. A demon, okay. Now some people could be supporting the demon, but nobody knows who's who. Very, very, very similar to werewolf, only fuller. It's a fuller experience. People really get into this one, so you can like really like ham it up and act and get into it and you can play with a big group of people you could play with like a handful yeah. of people but i would say like a fully it's a really good game to immerse yourself in kind of like a creepy setting max uh plug your ears max um plug it's ears. It, yeah it's a more robust better version of werewolf mm -hmm. you didn't want max to hear you max you can unplug your ears now uh i'll make it because he's going to have his ears plugged. Scaremouth. So that's the games. Now for the movie, one that I think would be really fun to put on the background while you're eating a stuffed jack-o'-lantern is Trick or Treat, which is an anthology horror I've movie. I've never seen it. We have seen it. We watched it with Shannon and Jen. I don't remember it at all. So in the little thing that has like the bag over its head and like the candy and the bus full of cr like kids that like goes off the cliff. And the vampire. Okay, anyways. I don't remember this at, even remotely. This is a really fun, like, horror-esque movie that has, it tells a variety of different stories in it. And they're all creepy and, like, kind of connected with each other. And it's just, it's fun. It's got, like, a very, very Halloween-y kind of vibe. And I would recommend putting it on. If Are you people sure don't I was get there? Too, yeah, 100%. If people don't get too creeped out by it. Did I fall asleep? No. Remember how we always used to go to people's places and I'd fall asleep? Jeff would fall asleep every at time. At their house. All the time. That is the pairing. We want a stuffed pepper jack-o'-lantern. A spicy jack-o'-lantern. We want a blood moon, which is just basically cream soda. We want to play Castle Party and or Blood on the Clock Tower. We want to watch Trick or Treat. <laughs> Look at these. Aren't they cute? Hold what on. is this? I'm gonna make a mess, Jamie. Yeah. Okay. Dessert. I been, love whipped cream. I know you do. I put way more in yours than mine. So we've had lots of, you know, food so far, but you gotta end off with a dessert. And I thought, why not let's try something a little bit healthy for <clears throat> once? Um, covered in whipped cream. But this is like a candy corn parfait, but it's pineapple, clementine oranges, and cool whip. I mean, yeah, I mean, the the Cool Whip doesn't help, but it's, other than that, it's just a bunch of fruit. Mm. Mm. But I like fruit. Mm. Mm. It's a nice dessert. Yep. Light, fluffy, fresh, delicious. The drink we've got here, I've, oh, right. I've named it Ectoplasm. I don't know why. It's just really, it's lemonade and Sprite. Literally a splash of Sprite. That is tart. 
It is tart. That's why, because you want people to go like that. Tartoplasm. Tartoplasm, exactly. We've got two options for games. Let's start with the lighter one. I am going to pick Dreadful Meadows. Mm. And you want to know why? Multiple reasons. Dreadful Meadows is a super fun Halloween season themed game, but you're literally like building fields of candy types. Correct. Now we're not eating candy, but we're eating fruit that looks like candy. So kind of the same thing. It is like a tile placement resource gathering type of game. And it's adorable artwork and you get to play as asymmetrical characters and the different tiles and stuff that you put down are going to trigger different abilities. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. I love it. I love it. We do have a video. We have a playthrough on it. We do. If you'd like to watch it, you could do that. Now, speaking of a video we have a playthrough on, the heavier version that I'm going to recommend is Ghost Stories. Mm. I, was, I went on the ghost train because of ectoplasm. Yep. Right now, Ghost Stories is a game that is damn near impossible to win. We haven't done it, not no. even close. We could barely even play the game right half the time. <laughs> but this game is you are playing in its uh, Japanese, I think so, Japanese theme, and essentially you are fighting ghosts. It's like tower defense, basically, where you're in the middle, you're moving around, um, and being able to do different abilities. In order to fight off these ghosts that are like coming in at you, there's a lot of dice rolling. You're in a village. You're in a village, okay? And the ghosts, they are spirits. having the spirits and they are vicious. It's terrible, really. The movie, I would like to suggest. I'm really curious where you're gonna go here. We're gonna end off with something really fun. And that is the Muppets version of the Haunted Mansion. <laughs> That's not what I thought you were gonna pick. There's so many ghosts in that movie. There are. Good luck trying to go home without one. I don't right? know if I've watched it. Hitchhiking Ghost. It's so much fun. If you love the Muppets, which who doesn't? And if you love Ghost, which who doesn't? If you love the Haunted Mansion, which who doesn't? This is the movie for you. A great background movie. Uh, can we note quickly? Mm. Normally when people think of like Halloween movies, they're thinking of like scary horror movies. Jamie really dives into the comfort food. Uh, Halloween movies like Hocus Pocus. I love Hocus Pocus. That's Halloween what I, Town. I love. That's Halloween That's what I Town. thought you were gonna pick. I thought no. Hocus Pocus was coming out. No, but that is also a great one. You could definitely put that on. Um, you didn't pick I, any like actual horror movies. Trick or Treat is an actual horror movie. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Is it? Mm -hmm. Is it scary? I mean, define scary. <laughs> like. Is it like the grudge? Paranormal Activity, no. The Ring, The Grudge, Insidious. No. No, it's not scary like that, but it's creepy. It's like fun scary. Anyways, Killer Clowns Motor Space. Killer Clowns Motor Space. If I could have figured out a way to incorporate cotton candy in any of this, I would have picked Killer Clowns Motor Space for sure. That is what you're ending the night off with, okay? You are doing candy corn but better, ectoplasm, either Dreadful Meadows or Ghost Stories, and you're finishing off with Muppets Haunted Mansion for a little bit of fun. I dummied that. Yeah, dummied it. But that is everything that we have for this year's Halloween party. Please feel free to use any of this for your upcoming Halloween party that I'm sure you're going to have where you're going to force people to play board games. I just want to say, Jamie, like... These are your favorite. Kudos to you for thinking do, and doing this stuff, man. Isn't it fun? I like... Yeah. Here's a question. If anybody out there thinks of a new theme, because I've basically only done holidays. I've done Valentine's Day. I've done birthday. I've done Halloween. Christmas. Christmas. We should do a Canada Day one. We did. Oh, did we? Yeah. Remember we had poutine? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Caesars? Yeah. Yeah. So if you can, and Hawaiian pizza, if you think of a new theme, it could be anything. Anything fun. Because May the 4th? Are, yeah, we could do that. Yeah, like anything. Like it's, they're super fun to do. It's fun to eat snacks. It's just a fun way for us to have dinner together with you, yeah. basically. Um, but anyways, that is everything that we have for today. Now, if you're interested in buying board games, like any of the many we mentioned today, you should first start by checking your friendly local gaming store. And for us, that is... The Boardroom Game Cafe. Heck yeah. Do you know what they're doing, Jeff? You know how they do trivia? Yes. Guess what their next trivia is on? The Office. What we do in the shadows. Ooh. I could crush that. Speaking of which... If you're looking for like a 
Now, do not watch this with your children. No. You should watch What We Do in the Shadows, the TV show. It's my favorite. Yeah. Anyways. That's a good background Halloween. That, you could play that during your whole party. People would love it. Yeah. Nendor the Rentless. Do you like snacks? I do. We clearly do. Where do people get snacks? Much back. They even have those in October. They do. Did you know that? They I do. Did. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see. Please subscribe. We hope to see you again soon. And now we say goodbye. Goodbye. Later days. Hopefully the video quality was okay. I'm sure it was fine. It's probably fine. Interesting. You don't have a worm. Yeah, they're Oh, it fell in. You're sinking. The wow. little truck. I'll BRB with the main course. Are you going to take that out? Yeah. Or do you want it here? No, you can take it out. I'll put don't, it don't I'll put worry. It in the, fridge. the food doesn't go to waste. No, I'm putting it in the fridge. I'm actually going to have another bite. I'm not a big fan of like. Ooh, if, are my candy. if I'm going to be super chewy on candy, I want it to be sour candy. As oh. most of you probably know from our uh, munch pack that I normally gravitate towards the drinks. Um, very much, I had a burp there. Uh, I also very much like the drinks in this. I don't know, I'm a big drink guy. I like a good drink. I love food too, but I, I really like a good drink. Ugh. Here's a fun fact about me. When I drink, I like burp immediately. If it has bubbles. Heck up. <laughs> Are we gonna go for another W later? I can't say the W-A-L-K word around her, because if I do, then 